RD and he takes it. Oh man. Nice work. Well, the other side is between Moke and Itabashi Zangief. That's what's coming <laughs> up next. Uh, Moke got here by beating Justin, then Sako, mm -hmm. and Itazan by beating Phenom. Close. Right. Uh, and then also Problem X, uh, including beating Problem X's birdie. All right, so very impressive stuff by, by Itabashi Zangief. Uh, you know, he's just, he's so, it's hard to get a read on what he's going to do so consistently. Yes. And, and he's ready uh -huh, in uh -huh. ways that many other Geef players are not. He has ideas that you just don't often see coming from Zangief. I, I want to say that he might be one of the fastest thinkers uh, in the scene right now. Every situation, he immediately has a response to it. Yes. And then he can turn it into a mix-up off of that almost instantaneously. He's so good at making, forcing you to quickly go, oh, shoot, I should, oh, oh yeah. wait, I should, oh, no, you know. He's, so. he's, he's very, very well practiced. He, he spends a ton of time, and he really investigates things, and he looks great. However, Moke uh, continues to look fantastic. You know, he's a player who has been coming out to more and more events and really qualified for Capcom Cup really just the last half year but did well enough that he was able to do that in that short period of time. You know, it's interesting, because we had Snake Eyes beat Oil King earlier in the tournament, and that was a Zangief-Rashid matchup. So let's see what happens here now with two other players representing that fight. Mm -hmm. Of course, that fight has always been a contentious one on which character has a disadvantage. So here we see Moke and well, Itabashi. The last time they played, it was at EVO. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. And Itazan okay. beat Moke. Uh, Evo That's Tape. That's right. I remember that now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a matchup that they've seen before. But, but even in the last half year, I think that Moke has continued to get better. He's a young guy. He's been, been able to evolve quickly, learn very quickly. So, trying to get into top eight. Whoever wins this one gets to play against Men RD tomorrow. You talked about the matchup a little bit. Um, some Geef players think that Rashid beats Geef because Geef, because Rashid has really strong buttons. Right. His pressure is good enough to even beat Zangief's defense. Um, and uh, it's, it's not really a zoning match. It's not what you're worried about necessarily. But he has that range and that mobility that make it so that Geef has to really consider things more. But at the same time, a lot of Rashid players think that Geef does well against Rashid because it's very tough to do button into... Oh, that sucks. Button into, into Whirlwind shot against Geef. He gets Lariat right. for free. He can blow up a lot of Rashid's pressure with uh, either Lariat or with V-Skill. And so it's not an easy matchup to play on either side. So in other words, it's probably an even yeah, matchup. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Only one hit off of that Crouching Heavy Punch, which means he's going to armor through that and get the SVD. Yeah, like I said, the, the zoning itself is not really what is going to work out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Oh, what a jump back. And I, I swear was Itabashi <laughs> was trying to SBD on the landing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably, yeah. Oh, okay. He sneaks in there with that hopping forward medium kick. And another SBD. All right. One a lot more of meter up. on Moke's Th side. He didn't, oh. oh, he didn't die. Not quite. And he got another trigger as a result. Wow. Okay, but that's it. No more trigger. Right. Ooh. Patience from Itazan. He did not want to take any risk right there. Look at this. He, all, he knows yeah. all he needs is the last down jab. That's it. Oh, could have been there. And the down jab, such a great button. Oh, oh he's going to confirm into it. And it reached, and there it is. Moke going to steal this one from Itabashi Zangi. Well, that's the kind of thing that Itazan was worried about and why he didn't press the jab mm -hmm. after the mixer. He didn't press the jab after neutral before. He didn't want to get involved in that stuff, but it ended up coming up after all. Anyway, nice job by Moke to put himself in that spot. Yep, but un unfortunately for him, Itabashi now comes into this round with a full meter. Oh, mm -hmm. and he's going to combo off of that. Yep. Off of the trade. Yep. <laughs> nice work. You know he's you know he's always spinning that stick. Oh, wake up, crouching heavy punch. That was interesting. Not sure what was exactly was going on mm. there. Oh, nice. Early enough that he got the punish line. There's still no meter here for Moke. Oh, oh, no. Faked the meaty second uh, V trigger. There's the meaty V trigger. Nice. Yeah. And that's what I mean. He made you, he, he had the meaty suction, level one suction, immediate into crouching light kick. He's just keeping your brain 
from being able to focus on the situation. It's like, oh, here's a miss. Oh, okay. He, oh, no, here's a miss. Oh, and then that's it. And then you're done. You're SPD'd. Yes. Mm, there's that crouch light punch. Anti air, yep. Ready yep. for it. Was it the Zan? Oh, oh, boy. Big moment. Yep, in the fierce SPD. That's big damage. And he gets a pressure mix up situation. Yeah, and without meter, too. So it was a really tough look there from Moke. Uh, uh, okay. He's just barely built a bar. You know he wants to get that trigger, but not safe to do it right now. He knows it. Yep. He's got to make something else happen first. Okay. Nice. Here's Good a chance. Awareness. Oh, he doesn't. He said he goes in. Yeah, he still hasn't activated yet. Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. And he's going to get the combo off of it. All right. So he wanted it for damage rather than some setup. Oh, oh that was that very was cute. Cute. Clever stuff. Oh, air SPD? It was an instant adaptation by Itazan, right? He was looking for the, the neutral jump into yeah, jump away. Uh -huh. it, I, it's a very interesting idea, but no, didn't work out. Yeah, you see a lot of people do that, especially with Rashid. He's got, it feels like a faster neutral jump, but you go neutral jump, land, it looks like you can be thrown, you jump again. And Itazan, that's what he thought was going to happen right there. Went for the air SPD, but nope. Okay, stayed on the ground, was able to punish it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Can't do that. Projectile invincible. Good time. <laughs> okay. Oh, he went for another one. Tried to do the whiff knee. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay very smart. Time he went for the throw. So he's tried two ways to counter. We found one finally. Here's... He just, oh, nothing. Wow, he blocked in time. I swore that Rashid was going to be able to get him in time. Yeah, waited for it there. And Itazan has a oh, hit, yes. Again, same move. Oh, he didn't go for the juggle there. Itabashi activates safely. Yep, level two. Now he's got a couple level one V trigger. Nope, that's it. That's It's all gone. Right. But he has a life advantage right now. What, was he trying to build a second bar? Oh, oh. my god, what a whiff punish. And now anything else. So you see the down jab comes oh. out. Jump jab works too. That button is so underrated in terms of the range oh, yeah. of a jump attack from Zangief. Good hitbox on it. Hard to anti-air. Oh, man. Throwing out those headbutts just in case he throws a tornado or runs forward just like that. Ah, same way Mena RD caught uh, Daigo with that last command throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm okay, waited. That's twice now that he's landed that and immediately run up for the regular throw, so Itabashi was able to take it. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Not a lot of damage there, but I like it, but I'm okay. Don't let your opponent get away with things. Oh, taking one hit away from that V trigger. Good block. Oh, he still got hit at the end of his V reversal. It was still going. I love that Moke is going with those light punches to make sure that the armor is ineffectual. Got oh, he got him, he got him, he got him, he got him. He's gonna go for the reset. No, it doesn't work out. That's, but that's <laughs> something Itazan has done all day today. He doesn't just go for spin into full juggle into EX air SPD. He uh -huh. uses it for the reset. He went for the level two though. He caught him with the level two, it was strange. I, I, did he just accidentally let go a little too early? I, I doubt it was accidental. Uh. Hmm. Nice, look at that counter poke right there from Moke. Oh, he tried the air EX SPD. Oh, chap from Moke. Okay, oh, here's Itazan on now with the corner of it's uh, EX again. Ah, nice. How many times and how much success? There's been a lot here from Moke. Nice, gets away from that one. Slowly moving. Moke into the corner. Itazan slowly oh, moving in here. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a full combo. Will he combo. spend it all? Yes, he does. And goes for the EX SPD. Mix up time now. What's, what's Moke going to do? Oh, he gets away. He's going to get the hit, but it kind of hit in a weird way. Still got the juggle with. Oh, Ooh. oh he read it. Oh, Itazan needs shoot. one more guess. Got him. And there was that combo that. Missed when uh, we had the counter hit pushback on the Snake Eyes matchup, right, against Cien. But that's where it worked. That's what it looks like when it works. Thumbs uh. up. He's ready. It's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> All right. 
Tries to get in there with that spinning mixer. Oh my god, Itabashi. Almost kind of with like a delayed SPD just in case. Ready for anti-air. I like Moke's movement right now. Got the corner. Mm, just flexes him out of the air oh, and man. again just right into the EX spinning there mixer. Have been so many. Oh, he didn't roll this time. Man, <laughs> Moke, okay, what a bait. <laughs> Oh, the instant overhead! Look at this damage. He's gonna be able to take that round. Man, that lack of roll was so smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a mix-up you often see, but there it is. <laughs> Starts the round by just headbutting that tornado away. But Moke gets in with the throw, trying to apply pressure with that tornado. Both of them trying to find those buttons. Oh my God! Oh, yeah. he caught the back dash. After the heavy punch, he read the back dash. Got yeah, if him. you charge it up, yep, you get some good stuff after. Oh, he went Ooh. for it. Got hit out of the startup. Nice whip punish. Oh, can he? Oh, okay, not. Could not get out of that fast enough to get the SPD. It's not caught. Yeah, In stuck the corner. in the corner right now. Okay, at a range where he can anti air easily or where he can threaten with mixer easily. No anti-air, though. Oh, did he get him? He did, he did, he did, he did. And it's close. Now, what will it be from Moke? It's been EX so many times. This time, no, and Itazan had the right call. <laughs> Itazan not scared at all. Not a believer in the wake of EX. That's Itazan. He's not going to get scared. Mm -hmm. He has the most calculated, quote, randomness out of everyone that I, I, I think that plays this game right now. He's so good at mixing things mm. up. Okay, so start a little bit here for a Moke. Nothing too major. No, still had the anti-air in time. Good reaction. Oh, what a whip punish. Yeah. Ooh, got the crush counter. He tried that before. This time, Itabashi takes the bait. Into? Yeah, oh, overhead. Same you know, thing, it's, yep. Well, you know, it's an overhead or low mix up, and mm -hmm. Itazan just guessed wrong. So, Moke, two to one. Very nice mix up. Very nice control. Again, one of the first times a lot of people have managed to see this guy was at Evo. He made top eight, and here he is at Capcom Cup, trying to once again reach that top eight field. He's a game away. Can you imagine making top eight Evo and at Capcom Cup? What a punish. Into the corner, too. All right. Is that set up again? Same kind of situation. That neutral jump off of the spinning mixer has been such a problem for Itabashi to deal with. Mm. Nice. SPD is reached, but again, light one, so not going to get anything off of it. Here comes that V trigger. Saw Itabashi jump back ah. to try to avoid. <laughs> He's like, I've got my own tornado. <laughs> oh, he believed there was an EX this time. It didn't come. Nice call by Moke. Ooh. Oh, that reached. Got him. EX SPD so far, and it's enough to kill. <laughs> Itabashi's like, oh, thank God that killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Trying to even it up. The very slow play. Moke not taking big risks. Neither is Itazan. Just slowly moving forward. Moke is looking for something big. Maybe looking for a crush. Didn't come. Okay. Has the anti-air ready to go again. But you know what? You don't lose that much life. And you're causing Moke to spend a lot of meter on that situation. You went from neutral to neutral, basically. So it's not a terrible... Oh, and then sometimes you just get that jump in anyway. That's right. That was an EX gone. Okay, yes, I like this. To get out of what could have been a bad spot. <laughs> Still got clipped by the last hit of that tornado. Even in life now. Oh, Ooh. again. Moke with not with a too late anti-air. Just ate the jump medium kick instead. It seems to me like Moke's trying to save that EX meter. Yeah. Out of there. Well, Itabashi doesn't have a V-trigger ready to go. Right, but close. And right now, Moke dancing. Nice. Okay. Again. It's twice now. Dash up, double, crouching light kick, but not a lot of damage. And now he goes in for the jump. Here comes the meaty. 
Itazan was okay with there not really being a strong mix up there. I think he just wants this coin, this mid range, mid screen control. 12 seconds left. It's been a slow hop. Oh! Oh, you came in with the it's surprise. It's enough for the life lead. Can he get back in? Can he make something happen? Three mm. seconds. Does oh, he get it? No. Is it in time? It is. He got it. Point zero 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 one seconds left on hey, the clock. <laughs> that counts. That's good enough. It's not going to have a Red Bull Tower of Pride experience again. <laughs> two to two. Oh, my God. Moke just wanted to run out the clock. That's all he wanted. <laughs> and unfortunately, that involved jumping back. And uh, Itazan had that ready to go with the Air EX SPD. Down to the last game here. More oh. mixers there, but that was part of why Moke was close enough for that to work, that SPD. Look at this double jump, three jumps in a row. Mitabashi, okay, calming down just a little bit now, mm -hmm. playing this little distance game. Okay, there we go. Moke gets in there thanks to the tornado. Yes, in there now. Moke gets a chance to pressure. He tries for something. Yeah, Moke has been having a lot more success with run up throw all of a sudden. He's definitely added ah, that nice. to his repertoire. Oh, what? He tried to bait out the throw with from uh, Itabashi, and Itabashi just had the anti air ready to go. Ah, nice. This is very yeah. nice. There was no EX, so I think that's part of why Itazan was jumping, but right. instead, B Trigger. Away. Look at the stocked stuff here from Itazan. Yeah, I know. He's got so much. Yes, beautiful activation, because now level one into super will do it. Mm -hmm. So you got to watch out for that crowd. Oh, you know punch. Moke is looking for something. He's, he's not taking any risk. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's it. enough? That's it. Yes. That's it. That's it. Counter hit towards medium kick into, uh, into the asphalt. Moke just wanted to stay away. <laughs> you can see him back dash, back dash. Put himself a little bit too close after that, though. Just ran up, wasn't expect. Oh, my Ooh. God. Gutsy start. Oh, dash under into SPD, fierce SPD. Can he keep it going? No, here's uh, Moke. There it is. But again, I just feel like one of the things that's kind of helped Itabashi in this matchup is that Moke has been meter starved a lot of the time. Mm, sure. Defense there from Itazan just waited. And it's because of this situation's here. I swear he's doing it almost on purpose to get him to spend that meter. Here we go. And you see him walk up and block. Oh, nice. Yes. There's a timing where you can review reversal, but he's doing it too late. Mm, that's enough, and here we go. Itabashi Zangi, Moke, last game, last round. To get into top eight tomorrow. One On the round. Winner's side. Of course, losers of this will go into the losers bracket where they still have another chance. Sure. Moke coming in there. Already where he wants to be, already pressuring. Good patience from his. Oh my god, he jumped right over that. Tried to catch a backdash with the standing heavy kick. Didn't happen. Too far. Moke away. Taking for the stab, hoping to see a Larry. It didn't come. Oh, we oh, got him. Okay, he got him. On. And now with no meter on Moke's side, he's in a bad spot. Oh, fear Can he steamroll Itazan? How many more? Oh, oh. He went for another one, but Moke smart. If he was going to escape the SPD, he was going to do it through a neutral jump. Got him, got him. Gets the juggle. Looking for crush, didn't come. Itazan trying to keep that V meter. Oh my god! Texas Will he throw. activate? Can't do it safely yet. There it is. Gets the activation. Oh, oh my god. That fierce was a problem. Eats on, let it go. Moke is so worried. Look at this man. He's just hanging oh, out. He got the it. hit! He got is there a reset? Oh, there yes, is one more either way. Meaty. Got him! Oh, oh my god! He did it again! He did it again! And Abashi did it again! Oh my god, what a call from Itazan! He did it again. He put him in like four mix-ups in the span of three seconds. He, just, he forced Moke to think on his feet yes. super fast. That's the thing. If you force someone to think that quickly, then they succumb to human reactions more often than not. He's a person, you know? So, Mena oh. RD will play against Itabashi Zangief oh in top eight God. winners. Oh Fascinating. Oh my god. And oh, look at that timer. Look at that timer. <laughs> He's so happy when he wins. Yep. And look at this. Look at this situation right here. He's going to go for the reset. God. Got him with the SPD. 
and, and no meter it. for Moke in this situation. Sucks him in. He ran out of V-Trigger. He knew he had no more V-Trigger, so he couldn't get any juggle afterwards. So instead, he baited Moke into jumping back on natural. Like I said, human reaction. Ooh. There's nothing. It's like there is maybe one person out of every million people who would not have jumped back in that situation. Yeah, no, that was, was a tough call to have to make oh. either way, but congrats to Itazan. That was as close as it gets, right down to the very, very end, and had to make a comeback to do it in that last round. So, again, we'll see him tomorrow in the top eight in winners. It will be him versus Mena RD. You know, not a matchup that many people called, but two extremely deserving, very mm -hmm. strong competitors who have had an uh, just amazing showing today. Right, so, exactly. Obviously, so. they, they very well deserve it. Very happy for both of them. Well, we're going to find out who the next two players to make the top A on winner's side is going to be right after this break. Don't go anywhere.